YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Tiny Town VR, and yes, folks, we're back once again, and I know it's been a while since we played this game, but I'm back in the Tiny Town mood, plus you guys have been asking a lot for it down in the comment section on the videos. So, today, we are ready to start back off, and I think where we're gonna actually start is something that I kinda didn't finish. Uh, this was a project between, like, the Siren Head, uh, the bridge worm, we even had costume man over there. I kind of wanted to wrap this area back up, so we're going to be working on that here today. Now, luckily, the workshop has a couple really cool items now. Uh, we actually have a cartoon- oh jeez, that is big. That's a much bigger cartoon cat than I thought it was going to be. But yeah, we have a cartoon cat, which actually looks pretty good, because I tried to do an episode where I created a custom model of this, and we don't want to talk about that. I had to delete it because it was really, really bad. So we've got that. We actually even have like an SCP-096. Uh, it looks pretty good. It's actually kind of frightening looking. Like, look at the mouth. That's a uh, that's scary. So we have that. We even have a siren head model. Now we did do a custom siren head episode not that long ago, but here is another one. This one looks pretty good. I must admit the the sirens are a little small on it. But I always thought, what would it be like if we had a Siren Head army? So say the big Siren Head has uh, somehow, I guess, summoned them? Or maybe somebody summoned all of these. I'm not really sure. Uh, we kind of have a portal over there, but we might be able to utilize this here in this episode. So, we're going to jump right in. If you guys have any suggestions for future episodes, comment below. And while you're down there, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel, and let's do this. Okay, first off, there's gonna need to be some spooky stuff happening here. I think we're gonna have to go to the zombie stuff. And I'm gonna look for some candles, like this. I need to find some individual ones. So, I think we're gonna introduce something a little bit new here. Like, normally something evil comes in, they stick a portal down, and then stuff just spawns in that way. But I think we're gonna be summoning something here. So, if I'm a cat, what do I like? I like fish. We like candles. Actually, I don't think cats like candles. Uh, maybe this is like a can of tuna here. Uh, we need a can opener, of course. So yeah, that's looking pretty good here. So what type of person would summon a cat? Would it be a clown? Would it be a grandma? Well, probably not a grandma. She's not smart enough for that. This looks like a person that would summon cartoon cat. So I think we're going to have to use this. So I think we're going to build an alleyway over here. And, like I said, we will use the Siren Head and maybe do like a Siren Head army here in the future because I feel like I'm going to fill it out in this area. But back here, we'll have like a, maybe an alleyway uh, between the streets here. Alright, so what I want to do with this, I kind of want to make this look like an abandoned part of town. So say they were developing out this way, and this is just kind of a forgotten section. So I think I can utilize a mixture of the zombie pieces and some of the normal town pieces. Like, we can make it look... Like it's old and run down. And it's just got one of those creepy alleyways. That way when you pass by it, you kind of speed up. Uh, because you don't want to get trapped in there. So it's going to be like that. Ooh, I'm thinking like almost like a little bit of an abandoned industrial section. So we can have something like that. Uh, I need a front facing building. So probably maybe one of these. And we can damage these buildings. Uh, maybe we'll put a fence up like it's been condemned. I think that would be pretty cool. So let's go put this building here. There we go. That looks good. So this will be our alleyway. We'll block off the back of it here in a second. Uh, let's go over to zombies. Is there anything I can add here? You know, abandoned church would look really good, but I believe I've used that before over in the zombie apocalypse area. So I think we'll avoid that. But I will use some pieces in here like the debris and stuff. We'll shrink it down and uh, make it look like the alley's really, really trashed. Okay, so if the fence doesn't say this is a bad idea... I don't know what will. Uh, do we have one with a hole in it? Oh, we do! This is perfect. So, say they went down through the hole here in order to get back to this area. That looks good. Okay, let's keep going here. Come on, you can't tell me this doesn't have bad idea written all over it. So, let's go ahead and stick some stuff here. Thankfully, this zombie pack has a lot of amazing items here that we can use uh, to decorate this alleyway to make it look as creepy as possible. So, I think the uh, ritual site's going to be over here. In the corner or maybe it'll be more out here here let's move some of this over to this side that way we can see it really well so I'll add some stuff back here I need to find more clutter more debris a dirt pile because why not Ooh, the fish buckets gonna work really well for us let's stick that down there 
So yeah, maybe they're trying to summon it via fish. Of course, I should probably read the lore a little bit more. Uh, I do like to go back and read those, uh, all the Trevor Henderson creations. Uh, people make some really, really awesome videos on them. And it's just kind of fun to go back and watch those. Alright, so you can see I'm adding like grass and stuff to the sides of the buildings. I'm going to put some grass coming up through the concrete. Uh, ooh, this kind of works well. Uh, so obviously there's no power in the area, so maybe there's a power pole. Uh, they had them along the road here. These need to be a little bit bigger. There we go. So it's all leaned over there. Empty boxes, pallets. This place is going to be about as creepy as possible. Alright, so we just made this area a little bit more creepy. There's actually still police tape up. Uh, from a potential crime that happened in one of the alleyways. And as you can see, I've made everything look pretty overgrown here. I think the only thing I really want to do is I want to find some boards or something. That way we can board up some of the doors and stuff. And then I think we'll be ready for the ritual itself. There we go. That's what I was looking for. So let's go ahead and board up any doors here. There we go. Put that on the front. Alright, yeah, this looks about as creepy as it's going to get right now. So, let's move back here. I had the items. Uh, let's go ahead and grab them over here. So, yeah, maybe it's going to be a group of teenagers that does this. This kind of looks like a teenager, I'm guessing. Maybe. I don't know, I haven't been a teenager in a while, so I don't know what you guys look like anymore. It's fine. So, we wouldn't happen to have a pentagram somewhere, do we? No? No, we might have to make our own here. I'm not really sure. Okay, uh, let's find another person. Who else looks like they would maybe cause a bit of trouble? This guy, you know what? We're going to say that one's causing some trouble. I think I need one more character here to really make this complete. You know what? This guy, maybe, maybe uh, I know he's called a hobo, but maybe, you know what? He's into this stuff. It's fine. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and we need to get you guys in like a sitting pose here. So the fun thing is that they're going to be doing the ritual over here, but they're not going to realize what's happening kind of down the uh, alleyway. Alright, so we're going to stick some candles around the area. They had to really light this area up. So, I was hoping to find individual candles, in which maybe I still have those somewhere, because I would like to make them in a circle. Obviously, we got to put the fish in the middle, and we'll have a couple cans of cat food over here. Uh, they know what they're doing, but, you know, it's just not very safe to do this like like never try to summon anything not saying that anything will happen but you know just to be safe ah here we go we got individual candles right here so i'm gonna need to really get down in here and uh here let's just spawn in a bunch of these probably need to turn off snapping here and we're gonna put these in a circle around the fish here all right so i need to have cartoon cat coming out of something so I was thinking about this. I was like, I don't want to use the portal again because the portal kind of means something else in this series. It doesn't mean that, oh, stuff just randomly appears. Even though stuff randomly does appear, but a lot of times the portal has a meaning. So I'm thinking, what can we do? Would Cartoon Cat come from the ground? Maybe Cartoon Cat was living in the building here or maybe came from the building. I wouldn't say it was living in there because obviously they're summoning it. That would imply that it's been there the whole time. Now what we can do, I'm going to make a debris spot. So say this is going to be perfectly timed and Cartoon Cat came from the wall. So I need that. I need a hole, which I think there's a couple that I can use here. Uh, and maybe it's going to be coming out of that. All right, that's looking like that's going to work. We're going to have to work with the outside of it a bit to make it look a little bit better. But I know I asked this question before, which character is your guy's favorite as far as the Trevor Henderson creations? I still have to say Siren Head has got to be mine because of the, uh, he used to have a fear of sirens for some reason uh, when I was little. Of course, we live in a tornado alley, so, you know, that's a thing. We get tornado sirens quite often. So, yeah, that was, uh, that was my excuse for that. But Cartoon Cat has got to be a close second. Uh, but, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Okay, let's put that there. All right, we really should probably get the star of the show here. So let's go ahead and pull Cartoon Cat back up. There we go. And I like how the default model is like really, really huge. Like we could have done a huge one, but I, I think I want to keep this one closer to the actual size. There we go. So yeah, it, it's already on its way. It's just, oh, I just killed one of the ritual people. Come back, please. There you go. All right, so Cartoon Cat is emerging from the wall. 
And we all know what Cartoon Cat does as far as that. Uh, he kind of grabs you and I think he rips your head off. I mean, it's fine. It's, it's, nah, it's not a big deal. You know, if only there was a way to shift the time in Tiny Town, could you imagine that being able to like maybe turn it to night real quick and then using some sort of lighting? Man, I really wish there was another Tiny Town. Like we've got Tiny Town too, which I'm not saying that's a plan or anything, but man, there's a lot of things I would love to see out of this. Maybe even like a way to bring your cities to life and let the people walk around. Like that would be so cool, but it's not a thing. But anyways, yeah, look back here. See Cartoon Cat's coming. We probably should shift it over a little bit. That way it's morally looking directly at the people. Yeah, that's creepy. <laughs> I'd probably poo myself seeing this. All right, so I need to decorate the street a little bit and make this look alive. And then I think we need to prep. Like, we've got some really good areas to work with over here. Of course, we can continue this uh, little hilly area where the bridge was coming across. And I know a lot of you guys, when we did the Siren Head episode, said there should be a big forest back here. So maybe we'll shift the Siren Head army back there. I want to know your guys' opinion, though. Should it be over there or should it be over there? I don't know, it's all up to you guys. Remember, this series runs completely off the feedback from you guys. There we go, and put the bridge across. Ah, that looks a lot better. That makes this area look a lot more complete. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill in this gap here. We'll stick some cars down. And uh, yeah, I like how this ritual with the cartoon cats going on, and like, they're almost completely ignoring that. I mean, this guy, he's like the only one that's actually uh, acknowledging anything. So this still wouldn't be a complete episode of Tiny Town if I didn't bring out a legendary character. So I don't know if you guys have seen those shows where people go to like places that are kind of junky and they find stuff and they resell it. I guess you could say kind of like an American Picker or something. Well, uh, Grandma's into that kind of stuff. So just the whole fact that, you know, this is kind of a condemned area and there's Cartoon Cat and a bunch of stuff going on. She doesn't care. She is in the dumpster, which this looks wrong. Like somebody stuffed grandma in the dumpster. But no, no, she's perfectly fine, I can assure you. And uh, yeah, she's collecting a bunch of useless junk, which I'm going to find a bunch of that. And we're going to stick it down below her. So yeah, she's found some unique stuff that she wants to collect. You know, it's like an old person thing that they're into like arts and crafts and stuff. So maybe she's getting a bunch of things for like an art project. It's fine. So yeah, as you can see, grandma has found a bunch of useless junk here. <laughs> And then, of course, over here, you have a disappointed police officer that's watching her do this, going, Why? Don't do that, Grandma. So, anyways, let's go ahead and zoom back out. You can see I've added some stuff here. Kind of completed the city. Uh, we might do something with the back alley here, but I think for the most part, I'm happy with this. Kind of like a little return to Tiny Town. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Hopefully, we'll be returning with an episode here really soon. I want to try to do at least one a week here for you guys. So yeah, thank you guys for all the love and support. We will see you guys next time in Tiny Town VR.